What is up everybody, Monster Gem Fanatic here, back again with another little hunting video. First store that we were at is Target. I was walking up here, and this is a voiceover, there were a bunch of people in the aisle, like always. So I was walking up to Target, as you guys will see in a second, I ended up stopping the recording, because literally all that was there is like three Mix 22 Max Ds. That was literally awesome, four packs and 124s, nothing crazy. But I went to Walmart, and I found the new Hot Wheels Monster Truck Mix. I actually, I haven't really gotten a lot of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks here lately, but I ended up getting a few of these. I don't even know if I Got the whole mix i just i know the ones that are new for sure and i, I just picked those up all right, as you can see i went to a couple stores there i didn't say anything i obviously had to do the voiceover so i didn't really find too much i did find some new hot loose monster trucks we'll take a look at that in a second but what i didn't record is me going to my collectible store oddballs um if you guys are a little if been on the channel a little bit um a few months ago almost a year ago actually by now i went to um, a store in richmond virginia called oddballs i found some monster trucks i went there first time this summer that i've gone and i did find some monster trucks you're looking at one right here i guess this is considered one i got three 164 scales two 124 scales and then this one this was only 250 it was a taz rev treads you know i, I don't really collect a lot of the red tre rev treads anymore but you know i did used to um i don't really collect any of the spin masters like i don't have a single one but i i kind of like the uh old hot Wheels monster gym ones so i saw taz i was like you know what? why not 250 not a bad deal i also got this ferrari i know you guys don't really collect the hot Wheels. i'm sure only a few guys probably will but i think it's pretty cool because as most of you guys know um even if you don't collect hot wheels they discontinue ferrari like the contract expired back in like 2013 or so so i collect all the ferraris i see i'm a big ferrari collector so now we're going to get into the monster trucks that i found at the store and then we'll open the hot wheels monster trucks so here's the first 124 scale out of the two this is just the most random 124 scale i do like it it's the felon does have like a paint chip right there but other than that it's in pretty good condition weirdly enough it has a green chassis red roll cage of course that's accurate but i have no clue what the green chassis is for it kind of matches a few parts of it is green i guess on the body actually not really but um anyways it's still a pretty cool 124 scale very um interesting one honestly i didn't even know they made a felon 124 scale and then uh, right, another pretty random one here's zombie they had a few others they had like a hot wheels monster truck 124 scale i don't really collect those so i didn't get that and then they had crustacean which i already have and then there was another one that i already have but i forgot yet but this one does have both of the arms um i don't really have too many spin master 124 so i definitely picked this up both of these were only five dollars each um i looked at it thinking it was gonna be like 15 dollars sometimes they're a little overpriced i looked saw five dollars like you know what that's half the store price when it was new in store so you know what? i gotta pick it up it even has the arms it looks so detailed i couldn't pass it up same with the felon all right so now for the 164 scales i was walking around found this next to a red captain's curse i actually do need this variant of king crunch this is the normal blue with the black roll cage i have this variant with the blue like baby blue roll cage and that one's from like 2010 or so this is the one from 2011 i never got i think this is the same one that came out in the then and now pack i could be wrong but this could be the one that's labeled spectra flame it wasn't an error because every single king crunch said it but it wasn't a spectra flame i'll show a picture here there's a king crunch spectra flame that came out in 2011 i do believe it, it was 2011 and uh it said spectra flame but obviously no spectra flame here but the only other time they released that was in a two pack i think in the then and now pack in 2012 it may have came out in singles but either way this truck is in too rare it was just a variant i needed to fill a hole in my collection so i'm very glad i have it um all these 164 skills are very dusty this is one out of the three next to our metal bases i saw these in a pail like a little bucket together they had a few other cool trucks they had t-max there and then a bunch of other trucks honestly i was the only really noticed like the one to, like to note um i had all the other ones except these two here's the first one this is the final shocker that i needed next to the small hub partial graphics this is the big hub metal base um i have the plastic base i have the small hub and then the all, all the other ones but check out this shocker my favorite shocker still um to this day i love the body style it's so unique it's kind of like cyborg it's just such a different body style i'm surprised that mattel even made it so glad to have this ironic enough i got the plastic based version of this truck at the same store over a year ago so that's pretty cool and then final finally we have the aftershock metal base i got the 2011 one and i've always wanted this metal base because honestly i didn't even know they made a metal base up until a few years ago but ever since ever since then i i've really wanted this one i love the blue one it almost looks like a more metallic blue than the uh, newer um 2011 one but yeah as you can see metal base just another variant i needed the body is the same as far as i know a little dusty all three of these like i said are pretty dusty i'll wash these after the video i should have done it before but oh well next up we are going to just go into the hot wheels monster trucks that we found at walmart so i i went in there thinking there was only three new trucks to this case being carbon Skeletor 
and then um bone shaker but now that i see it piranha may be new that one i don't remember if i had the blue one and then that tire shark since it's before bone shaker they usually put the new stuff at the top and then the repeats down here these three uh, repeats i know this bone shaker is new that's why i got it so i wonder since this tiger shark's kind of mixed in with the new trucks here i wonder if there's something different with that that i missed because i'm sure it was there you guys saw it in the video i'm sure but check out this truck it actually has like a zamac kind of bare metal color to it not too sure how i feel about the tires but we'll take this out of the package and take a look at it i had to take a look at the name of this type of truck um it's called the twisted treads and these are the the rims right here those spokes are pretty sharp so um there should be a warning to be honest because a lot of little kids play with these obviously i don't have to worry about it but those are pretty sharp like it almost stabs my thumb like i don't know if you can even see that but like it definitely leaves indents on the thumb when you press down on it and it could definitely poke you but anyways check out the color on this it is a little like it looks bare metal i love the chrome trim on it, it has the chrome engine bay with the eight cylinders the skull on the front is chromed out we have the skull on the side on the top here we have all like the nos and whatever that is in the in the back nitrous um tailgate still skull that's all um there really is on the body but check out these treads here it's called twisted treads i don't know what it's supposed to be almost i thought it looked like like snowflakes in the package but now that i see it i have zero clue what that could be tell me in the comments below oh wait i see it now it's a skull i almost missed that it's a skull and then the crossbones i just noticed that that's a pretty cool truck i'm not gonna lie i i, I the, the chrome kind of did it for me i am a sucker for any trucks that are chrome to be honest all right next up we have a pretty cool new truck so we got the uh ba um what was it battle cat ba battle something from masters of the universe about a year ago it was battle something it was battle cat i get mixed between that and battle corn which was an actual truck that competed one time in monster jam a few years ago it was battle cat but now we have skeletor from masters of the universe i know nothing about masters of the universe i know we got he-man and small hub back in like 2002 i do have that one and then we got the uh the reincarnated masters of the universe and we got the uh, battle cat last year or maybe even two years ago now i don't really know and then we have skeletor so let's take skeletor out of the package I'm not like telling you guys about the crush cars because it's the same repetitive stuff but those are the two crush cars that came with the truck so far that we have opened so here is skeletor check out this thing it's like a there's like a wrecking ball in the back i almost thought it was like a tow truck but we have a goat with like horns red eye i think that's a goat with horns i don't really know to be honest guys we have like muff the mufflers is like the teeth maybe i don't really know what the mufflers are supposed to be but it's right there the teeth are in the front tell me what the uh the mufflers are supposed to represent because this is obviously the face this is all metal it's like a matte finish green and then the purple um i can't really tell if this is metal too i think that is plastic and this part is metal i'm not really sure but check this out a lot of interesting colors blue chassis purple roll cage almost a pinkish color on the wheels it's a lighter color than the roll cage and the body in general so i'm not really sure how about uh how i feel about the wheels since nothing on the truck is really that color um but yeah red windshield so it does look like it has red eyes you just gotta look at it in the right direction so that is a pretty cool truck i'm not gonna lie i like the blue like uh zoomies or whatever that's coming out of the side right there that is it interesting now for the final one i have no use for this truck because i don't drink i'm underage but i do think the concept of this car is cool ever since it came out in the normal hot wheels i think it's really cool that you can use the back right here to open a bottle cap let's take this out of the package and take a look at it all right so aside from the body it's pretty basic when it comes to the wheels and tires and chassis and even the roll cage color is green but still pretty basic honestly it reminds me of the grave digger color now that i'm looking at it but here is the carbonator so first off we have a bottle cap for the hood and we have the hot wheels somewhere right there that's actually pretty sick if you look at it yep you can see it right there hot wheels carbonator on the side and a green and white font um hot wheels logo right there it says xxl oh no xx lime i think i don't really know has the hot wheel symbol on the top again with two neon yellow stripes on the top monster trucks logo and then we have whatever that is maybe some more stripe we have the side fenders and then we have the back which looks like a spoiler which looks so cool but this actually does open bottle caps it's metal and you just put the bottle cap under it and then twist it up like that or whatever i don't know pretty cool concept i know i've known about this in the hot wheels diecast car form first time we're getting it in the in the hot wheels monster trucks i think that's pretty awesome so that is all for our uh today this was the crush car just basic hope you guys enjoyed the video a few interesting stuff a bunch of random stuff going into this video i know but that was just a haul from today um next time i go to my collectible uh collectible store i'll make sure to record i honestly don't know why i didn't record it was a pretty cool experience because there was a lot of new trucks and hot wheels there that you guys probably would have enjoyed seeing but unfortunately i just got the uh, walmart and target in store and target had nothing if you guys couldn't tell us why i stopped recording so hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out